Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the village board meeting of November 28th. Please join us in our Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Roll call, Mrs. Thomas. Trustee Purcell. Here. Trustee Willis. Here. Trustee Colton. Here. Trustee Heiberman. Here. Trustee Harris Jones. Here. Trustee Roman. Here. President Holbell. Here. Representing staff this evening to my left, our village manager, Napoleon Haney, to my right, our village attorney, Chris Cummings. So the audience is right. Our police chief, Denise McGrath, Economic and Community Development Director, Angela Maceres, and Assistant Village Manager, Tyler Hall. The minutes of November 14th, additions or corrections, Trustee Purcell. Nothing here. Trustee Willis. No. Trustee Colton. Here. Trustee Heiferman. Trustee Harris-Jones. for me. Trustee Roman. I have a motion to approve the minutes, please. So moved. Second. Been moved by Trustee Purcell, seconded by Trustee Willis. Roll call, please. Trustee Purcell. Aye. Trustee Willis. Aye. Trustee Colton. Abstain. Trustee Heiferman. Aye. Trustee Harris Jones. Aye. Trustee Roman. Aye. The minutes are approved. The claims list in the amount of $599,905.43. Comments or questions, Trustee Purcell. Nothing new. Trustee Willis. No question. Trustee Colt. All good. <laughs> Trustee Heiferman. Trustee Harris Jones. All good for me. And Trustee Roman. Nothing for you. I have a motion to approve the claims list, please. So moved. Second. Then moved by Trustee Colton, seconded by Trustee Harris Jones. Roll call, please. Trustee Purcell. Aye. Trustee Willis. Aye. Trustee Colton. Aye. Trustee Heiberman. Aye. Trustee Harris Jones. Aye. Trustee Roman. Aye. The claims list is approved. Item number seven, meet your merchants. Ms. Maceres. Hello. Good evening. Hello. Tonight we have um, two businesses for Meet Your Merchants. Uh, I'll introduce the first business. First business is The Rock Shop, which is a relatively new addition to downtown Homewood, located at 18109 Dixie Highway. Owners Craig Frank and Laura Bruni are here tonight to present. Come on, Laura, you have to come up too. Come on, come on. <laughs> yeah, I made it here. <laughs> All right. I'm Craig Frank, and I'm the co-owner of the Rock Shop with Laura Bruni. This is the story of the Rock Shop in uh, not so many words. That's me, former CFO of a German tech company, uh, MBA career accounting and finance guy, and I was bored stiff with it. I no longer wanted to do that job, so I decided I would open a record store with my fiance, Laura Bruni. She's a Copy editor, award-winning journalist, uh, smartest person I know. So we traveled quite a bit. We went to uh, here, there, and everywhere, everywhere we went. We found either a record shop or a guitar shop. And she said, wouldn't it be nice if we had a shop that had something for me? Maybe rocks, maybe books, maybe who knows what. So an idea was born. Uh, we tested it out at the first at the Homewood Artisan Market and Street Fair um took it to various street fairs it was pretty successful so we decided to sign a lease 18109 dixie highway uh everything was going smoothly until i was sort of offered the job of a lifetime uh i was invited to be the director of finance for governor state university's center for performing arts now i used to play in rock bands and in the finance world i didn't want to make money anymore i didn't want to be pressured to make the money and they said well we don't we don't make any money. We're performing arts. <laughs> this is great. We used to play in rock band. I said, I did. They're like, can you help us book rock shows? And I said, yes, this is a match. Man. <laughs> so to take a little load off, we partnered with the local bookstore. They had lost their lease. So uh, kind of a match made in heaven mitigated my risk. We had uh, we shared all the expenses. We shared the space and, and the rock shop was born. Uh, luckily I had Laura as my partner and again, smartest person I know came in and sort of took it to, uh, a much higher level than I had anticipated. Everything's going along smoothly. Uh, you know, couldn't ask for anything more. We're selling rocks. We got our jukebox. We got records. We got toys. We got custom guitars. We have Japanese, uh, fishing floats, uh, permanent jewelry. You name it. We, we got it. What could possibly go wrong? Uh, the bookstore pulled out 
unexpectedly in May, left us with a lot of space and uh, a lot of space to fill. So what to do? We regrouped, we reopened, and we were free to move about the cabin and do whatever we wanted to do in this shop. And it was a much, much better deal for us. Uh, we partnered with local artisans, uh, custom jewelry makers, and glass forgers and blowers and all kinds of crazy stuff. It is uh, kind of the coolest thing I've seen in a long time. Laura also curated the kids section. We made sure that, you know, we are now selling books. We decided we would become a bookstore because it's nice to have a bookstore in Homewood. But she said it was important to, to uh, curate a, a, a very highly curated kids section. So the kids section, uh, with a lot of respect to the kids, is very comfortable. Uh, we've got seating areas for the community. We've got games. We have uh, free Wi-Fi, you name it. It's kind of a community gathering place. Uh, I, I owe it all to Laura Bruni. She really pulled this thing together. I, I only hang things where she tells me to hang them at this point in time. Uh, and how's the job at GSU going? Pretty well. I get to hang out with rock stars and still booking shows and we're still not making any money, but we're hoping to change that in the future. So <clears throat> that's the story of the rock shop. Um, the long and short of it, what do we sell? We sell records. But more than just vintage vinyl and new vinyl, we sell local artists. We've got Gerald Bailey, we've got Dolph Cheney, we've got guys in the town. Books, we sell new books, we sell primarily used books. We have a lot of kids' books that we're working with. But moreover, we have local authors. We have Rachel Horker. She's a, a local uh, yoga artist, and she's written, uh, what is it? What type of journal is it? A, a prompt journal? A journal prompt? Uh, yeah, self-help manual. Uh, we've got Patrick Bringley. He's coming on December 27th. He is uh, published by Simon & Schuster. We're doing author events. Um, guitars, I'm still building custom guitars. All kinds of stuff. And they're the rocks. We have rocks that we pulled out of the Thornton Quarry ourselves. We've sourced from uh, geologists that live in the area, uh, paleontologists that live in the area. We have all kinds of crazy stuff. Um, the long and short of it is that we're not necessarily selling widgets. We're promoting this town. We live here. We've got kids in these schools. Uh, we're both graduates of HF. I'm class of 87, Laura's 88. We live in the town. We have friends that live here. We have friends that work here. We have friends that have died here. Uh, we want this town to thrive. We want it to be our home, and we're trying to draw people into the community. Um, we're trying to help folks see what we see and feel how we feel about this town. It's a great town, it's a great community, and it's filled with great people. Thank you. Your address once again. 18109 Dixie Highway. Right down the road from Eat Rice. Right down the road from Eat Rice. You have to have a marking place. <laughs> <laughs> right next to the Thank you, Craig. Thank you. Thank you very much. Angela? <laughs> And now we will meet Angel's Boutique, which is across the street on the other side of Dixie Highway at 18050 Dixie. And it's owned by a mother and daughter and has been in downtown Homewood for quite some time. Come on up and tell us about it. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Hi. I am Tawana Walker. I'm the owner and founder of Angel's Boutique at 18050 Dixie Highway. So we've been in Homewood 10 years now. We love it. Um, I have a business background. I worked for um, Blue Cross Blue Shield for 17 years. Got my bachelor's and master's in well, my PhD, my um, MBA. Decided I was going to go for my PhD. I said, no, you've been in school all your life. So take a break. <laughs> and I decided to open up a store and looking around the downtown Homewood area. So I have a passion for fashion. I was always asked by friends and family would I go out and find them something, put it together for an event. And I said, well, I can do this full time, uh, which didn't turn into full time because I continue working. Um, but we cater to women in downtown Homewood location from sizes small to 3X. And we have service um, celebrities like Val Warner, who was recently with um, Windy, City Wide, um, Windy City Live, the late Sean from Chicago Fire, um, Sonia Blaker, Blakely with Inspiration 1390, and several other um, celebrities have come into the store. 
So after 10 years, we decided, okay, it's time to go beyond our four walls. And we recently opened our second location in Tinley Park, um, April 1st of this year. So I'm excited. Um, bringing a lot of what we have in Homewood over to Tinley Park, since it's a much larger space, we now expanded our brand to include men. So uh, we tried it over in Homewood and just didn't have the space. So men collection is over in our Tilly Park location. Um, we're operated by my daughter and myself. You pretty much when you come to the store, you're going to see my daughter's face. I'm behind the scenes. I'm doing all of the strategy, the business, meeting with different um, vendors and coming up with different merchandise. We recently um, expanded our brand um, overseas. So now we are working with different merchants. Uh, internationally getting different merchandise and so that's pretty much it our Tilly Park location is 16205 Harlem Avenue and Homewood is 18050 Dixie Highway so right. 10 years strong and looking for another 10 years and remember the Homewood location forget about that other one <laughs> thank, you. thank you thank you all Hear from the audience. If anyone in the audience would like to address the board on any subject not on the agenda, please raise your hand. If not, the omnibus vote, Mrs. Thomas. Board is asked to pass resolution R3170, declaring the village of Homeless intent to reimburse expenditures for the proposed 183rd Street West tax increment financing district. The change would move two properties, the former Brunswick Bowl and the Strip Center anchored by the Great American Bagel Store from the Kedzie Gateway tip and create a new tip. The switch is expected to be completed in August 2024. The board is asked to pass Ordinance M2270 regarding the Illinois Paid Leave for All Workers Act that it takes effect January 1 as it relates to the village. This ordinance follows guidelines from the Illinois Municipal League and stipulates that paid leave shall only be provided in accordance with current ordinances, personnel policies, or other local policies, and in accordance with collective bargaining agreements. The board is asked to pass Ordinance M2271, establishing an administrative procedure for the assessing and determining claims under the Public Safety Benefits Act to become compliant with Illinois law. This covers insurance for public safety staff killed or incapacitated due to work injury and for their spouses and children. It updates a village ordinance from February 2020. Thank you. Any comments or questions from anyone in the audience with regard to these matters? If not, board comments, Trustee Purcell. I have nothing down. Trustee Willis. Nothing. Trustee Colton. I'm good with all these. Trustee Heiferman. I am nothing. Trustee Harris Jones. Nothing for me. Trustee Roman. Nothing for me. May I have a motion to approve the items on the consent agenda, please? So moved. Second. And moved by Trustee Colton, seconded by Trustee Heiferman. Roll call, please. Trustee Purcell. Aye. Trustee Willis. Aye. Trustee Colton. Aye. Trustee Heiferman. Aye. Trustee Harris Jones. Aye. Trustee Roman. Aye. The consent agenda is approved. We have Mr. Bossy in the audience, who is the developer for the Brunswick Zone. Mr. Bossy, any comments on how you're progressing with the, the tenants? Floor is yours. I know you're very shy. <laughs> so it's nice to be back. It's been probably 15 years since uh, we did all that great work on Halstead Street. Um, and um, I, um, when you called me and asked me to get involved in the property, I, I thought, I don't know if I want to do this. But uh, uh, I, I spent about a year working in Flossmore uh, over by the Myers on, on behalf of the village of Flossmore. And uh, the mayor saw my plan. He said, uh, you had a lot of storage on there. And so uh, I kinda, he, he said, when I first got involved, I thought, 
this would be a good way to maybe bring some stories to town and he said, no, <laughs> that's not gonna work. So um, we got to work and uh, we were very fortunate. Uh, we're very, very, very close. We're in the 11th hour and 59th minute of finishing a lease with Ollie's Bargains Basement. They are a public company that just uh, um, uh, opened their 500th store and uh, they've just built a huge warehouse in their making a big move up to um, uh, up to um, Wisconsin and Iowa. And uh, so this will continue their push uh, north and west. So uh, um, we've been working hard for the last three, four months to try to get, get together on a lease. And uh, again, the big problem, of course, is uh, taxes here in Cook County, especially the South Suburbs. So everybody wants to sign a gross lease as opposed to a net lease. And so we had some issues just trying to figure out how to... Uh, uh, work that out. So, so Ollie's will take thirty thousand square feet. We won't even move the wall separating um, the old uh, Brunswick space with the uh, uh, former tenant. And uh, well, we have to renovate uh, not only the whole property, but we have to give them considerable dollars too in order to make that deal. So, uh, I've got my great partner Silk in here, who um, is uh, he, he advised me earlier. It's not a liquor store; it's a wine and spirits store. So, it will be a very high end <laughs> superstore. Uh, not unlike Binnie's, uh, if you've been up to any of the Binnie's in Orland Park or elsewhere. Um, and so Silken will uh, um, own and operate a 25,000 square foot junior anchor big box type of uh, liquor operation. And we have a, uh, another gentleman who will be uh, coming in with a crunch fitness. So we worked with LA Fitness and Vasa Fitness, and uh, we have a great operator uh, who come in and operate a crunch fitness. And so in addition to that, um, I'm very, very close to finishing a Starbucks deal uh, on an out parcel. And uh, uh, we're negotiating as well on uh, another out parcel that'll be out front. So um, very excited. Um, it's a great partnership with Silken. Uh, I have to give you the due credit uh, when you, you told me that there was a, a good local operator here that we should meet. And uh, uh, it's a very nice partnership that we put together. So oh, it's, we appreciate all that you've yeah. done and we look forward to seeing that develop. Thank so you. thank you, Dave. Thank you, Silicon. And uh, you have your new newest associate with you, Dave. Care yeah. to introduce her? Oh, I'm sorry, my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Dave. You may have trouble getting home tonight. <laughs> th thank you very much. Uh, general board discussion. Just a few um, minutes. My is going to speak as the last week for free leaf pickup um, in the village. So just make sure that you have them in the uh, containers. You don't need a stick or anything. But I'd also like to give a quick shout out to the um, Mount Carmel football team for winning state again this past Saturday. It's my son first year playing as a senior and could not be more. Um, ecstatic for him and he's over the moon so just wanted to give it there's a couple of homewood kids on the team so i just want to make sure i give a shout out to them too Christy willis um i hope everyone comes out for our holiday lights this friday from five to nine should be a great time and it'll be warmer <laughs> <laughs> definitely christy golden um, I just want to put a quick bug in the ear of uh, board members and staff members that I would I would love to pick a date for our next committee level meeting. Um, Wait, to get a subject. Yeah, we will get a subject, but it'd be nice to have one sooner rather than later, just because the first, the one that we did was so popular. There were 30 people here, and it went well, and I'd like to make it a really good thing. Thank you. Trustee Heifferman. Uh, thanks for uh, nice presentations from both uh, versions tonight. It was nice to Yes. Really see uh, how it started and what you're doing. So, so thank you. Um, this coming Monday is the first Monday, which means I'll be at the Starbucks on Harwood between five and six. Um, it's fun to chat about all topics on wood. So drop in. Trustee Harris Jones. Just welcome to each and every one of you. We're glad to see you. Please come back. We welcome you always to our meetings. Trustee Roman. I feel like I say this at every meeting, but I echo everything that has already been said. It's what I get for going last. But <laughs> um, thank you for coming and presenting about your businesses. It was great to hear. And thank you for giving us an update on the new development. That's yes. always exciting. People love to hear that. And um, we love to see people investing in our community. 
Um, so thank you to all of you. And um, yes, come out to Holiday Lights. It's our Mayberry event. <laughs> so um, we'd love to see everybody there. Uh, we have our annual snowflake contest. If you remember, there's one snowflake on the post that are that's different than the others. Uh, I'll give you a hint. It's not on Harwood this year. And uh, the uh, the awards are uh, Wancho's Tacos, Krispy Kreme Donuts, and Twisted Q. So come on and see me on a Saturday morning. Tell me where that snowflake is located. I'll be happy to give you one of those prizes. With that, may I have a motion to enter into closed session regarding the purchase of real estate? So moved. It's been moved by Trustee Colton, seconded by Trustee Willis. Roll call, please. Trustee Purcell. Aye. Trustee Willis. Aye. Trustee Colton. Aye. Trustee Heiferman. Aye. Trustee Harris-John. Aye. Trustee Ron. Aye. We'll take a short recess. Thank you all.